My name is Josie Howitt. I'm originally from New Zealand, but I've been in Canada the last 10 or so years and in Kamloops for the last three years. Um, I currently work at the city of Kamloops in sustainability and I have a one-year-old daughter. Um, in New Zealand, we'd had a two-party system for about 50 years before the public decided that it was time for a change and we had a referen referendum in 1993 where the public voted to change to MMP, which is a mixed member proportionate, proportional voting system. So that came into effect in 1996, and since then uh, it stayed strong. In 2011 there was a follow-up referendum to see if New Zealanders wanted to maintain the MMP system, and voters overwhelmingly said yes. With MMP you get two votes. So you have one vote for your electorate, so for whoever is in um, your, your area where you live who'd like to vote for to represent you in Parliament. And then you have a second vote which is called the party vote. And that's what really um, makes the system proportionate. So it, in New Zealand this has meant that it's really kind of moderated the power that the major parties hold. Um, often in order to get into government they will need to form a coalition with one or more minor parties and so that means that voters who have voted for those minor parties might see their policies actually being implemented. Well firstly they would notice a dramatic change in, um, in who is represented in, in government. So an example from New Zealand was in 1990 before the um, referendum and, and MMP uh, the Green Party in New Zealand got 7% of the votes, but they got zero seats because it was first past the post. Um, if you go forward to 2002 with 7% of the votes, that meant eight seats in Parliament. So it really makes a huge difference. Yeah, so it's, it's quite interesting in New Zealand. Um, and I imagine everywhere else with proportional voting, if you need a coalition, then it's really important to have um, a really cooperative relationship between parties. So even before elections, um, for example, the two more leftist parties in New Zealand, the Green Party and the New Zealand Labour Party, um, already had um, kind of showed a, a platform of what, what policies they were agreeing on prior to the election. And so that voters know in advance, you know, if a coalition is formed, these are the kinds of policies that will be, um, that will be implemented that share both the values of of those two parties. It definitely can work here. I think New Zealand and BC have a lot of similarities. Um, we have similar populations. New Zealand is about four and a half million people and we kind of have similar geographies and economies in some ways. New Zealand has a lot of you know, primary resource industries as well as like agriculture and tourism. Um, and it, it definitely works with that size of population base. It can work here. It works in many countries around the world. So I think it would be a, a great move for BC to move to more proportional voting and also to encourage more voters to, to get out and vote just knowing that their vote is not going to be wasted. It will be, um, it will be represented in, in the government.